from LIF. In the previous video, we have focused on several morphological operations on images. We dealt with smoothing of images and the removal of noise. In this video, we will focus on the code part for the contour detection and the implementation of it. Now, let's refer to contours. Contours can be explained simply as a curve joining all the continuous points along the boundary having same color or intensity. The contours are useful tools for shape analysis, output detection and recognition. We take in binary image as an input to get a good accuracy and precision for detecting the contours. Now, OpenCV provides us with contours and several edge detection features to identify several attributes of objects. Contours can be explained simply as a curve joining all the continuous points. It can be alongside the boundary, having the same color or the intensity. Use of binary image in contour detection. So why do we use a binary image for a contour detection? The contours are useful to tools for shape analysis and object detection and recognition. We take in binary image. In other words, the images whose pixels have only two possible values, 0 and 1. It can be a grayscale image, for example. So before finding contours, Apply threshold or canny edge detection will show you in the further slides. Steps for finding the contours are as follows. Step 1. Convert to grayscale. Grayscale is used to obtain the binary image. As I stated earlier, the syntax for it is gray equals cv2 dot convert color. Convert color refers to cvt color of image comma cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray where img img is the source image and cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray it's used to convert the bgr uh, image to the grayscale image where gray is the destination image now focusing on step two syntax for step two is red comma thresh is equal to cv2 dot threshold of gray comma 127 comma 255 comma cv2 dot thresh underscore binary where gray refers to the source image obtained earlier 127 is the threshold value which which we have set and 255 is the maximum value which can be set and we have used it and cv2 dot thresh underscore binary it's a type of threshold the several types like threshold underscore inv we, you can refer the open cv docs for it or the other way instead of uh, these uh, above steps are we can use can edge detection which gives us the sharp edges of the image the syntax for it is edges is equal to cv2 dot canny of img img is the image comma 100 comma 200 where as i said img is the source image 100 is the threshold value 200 is the value to be set to and cv2 dot canny is a function for can edge detection step 3 is the function for finding contours syntax contours comma hierarchy is equal to cv2 dot find contours of threshold which we have obtained earlier comma cv2 dot retr underscore tre comma cv2 dot chain approx simple thresh is this binary image contours is a list of contours that is found cv2 dot retr underscore tre comma cv2 dot chain approx simple these are the several methods for finding the contours now focusing on drawing contours to draw contours, cv2 dot draw contours function is used. It can also be used to draw any shape provided you have within this boundary points. The syntax for it is cv2 dot draw contours of source image, comma contours, comma index, comma color, comma thickness. Where source stands for the source image which we have taken in. Contours is the list of contours to draw. Index is the index number. If the index number is set to minus one, then all the contours in the image will be considered in the list. Color is the color which we need to choose, which can be any value in, in the BGR pixel value uh, to draw the contours. Thickness, uh, we can vary the thickness of the contour. There are two types of contour approximation that are as follows. The first one is chain approx none. If you use chain approx none, 
that is cv2 dot chain approx none function all the boundary points are stored which are not required to determine the shape of the image this this is not required since we just need the contours to identify the image properties and hence we, uh, we cannot conserve memory in this uh, function but to conserve memory we can use chain approx simple this is a simpler method which just use the required point and uh, it only refers to the boundary points and it hence saves the memory. The various properties of contours are, we can find the properties of the ith contour, where i in the refers to the contour number. Uh, there are two widely used properties, that's the area and perimeter. The syntax for finding the area of the ith contour is area is equal to cv2.contour area of contours of i. This function finds the area enclosed by the ith contour. To find the perimeter, the syntax is perimeter is equal to cv2 dot arc length of contours of i comma true. This function finds the perimeter of the boundary enclosed by the contour. Now getting on to the code. We have imported the numpy package used for mathematical operations and cv2. Now we have taken in the image which is img.png. .png is the image format. If you want to use jpeg, you can take it as .jpg. Now we have shown the image, I mean displayed it by using imshow function. Now we have set the value of i is equal to minus one, which we have used here in drawing contours. Uh, it draws all the contours in the image. At first, we have converted the image to grayscale. I mean, taking in the binary image. And red tent threshold is taking the threshold value of the image. Instead of this red to threshold function, we can also use can edge detection. I'll show you in a bit time. And, and this function, cv2.findContours, it's used to find the contours. And we have used uh, chain approx simple, which saves memory and uh, takes only the boundary points and draw contours of image and we have set the color to blue comma three three is the thickness here and print len of contours len is a function used to calculate the length of the contours actually it's the total number of contours in the image now we also print the area of the respected contour contour of i i mean here it's minus one and also the perimeter now running it So this is the original image and these are the contours indicated by the blue color and are of thickness 3. Now going back to the code, we can also use can edge detection instead of red and threshold, I mean the threshold function. We'll uncomment these two lines. And we are also displaying the can edge image here. It's stored in the thresh variable. So this is the original image. This is the can edge detected image. This has the edges as you can see and they're very sharp. We have used chain approx simple. And this is the contour image. Now Going back to the code, we can also change the value of i to a specified value. It can be any value you want. You can alter this and uh, vary the output. So I've given i equals three. This has selected the star, the half part of the star. So we can vary these values to select all the polygon shape. So if there are any further questions on this, you can post it in the comments and we'll respond to you ASAP. And uh, please do like, share and subscribe. And in the next video, uh, we'll focus on masking the image. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and more interesting stuff. It's being good staying with you. Thank you and have a nice day.